hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name's jason newland this is a sleep recording it's also going to be a relaxation session as well so there's a mixture of both and this is for the podcast relaxation hypnosis for stress anxiety and panic attacks but will also be shared with other podcasts especially those for sleeping if you're planning to listen solely to sleep then my suggestion is that you listen sitting up in a chair. When I say (laughs) up in a chair, I don't mean a really high chair, Um, but you know, because there's a real, real chance that you will fall asleep. So if you have something to do, somewhere to be, then I suggest you set your alarm. If you're listening in order to relax deeply and fall asleep then the ideal situation would likely be to lie down on your bed and I'm not sure if I said it yet but only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes There will be two versions of this recording, one with, one without music. The one with music will last for two hours and the music's from Kevin MacLeod and the details of the music and his website will be in the podcast description of the music one. The reason I do two versions is just to give you a choice, really. I mean, I personally prefer the recordings without music. By personal, uh, if I was lis- if I was listening for relaxation without music, if I was listening to go to sleep. Um, probably still without music depending upon the length but guaranteed if I wanted to go to sleep just by listening to the music alone would be enough for me because I can't lie down and listen to anything for any length of time without falling asleep I mean I've not tested it but I'm pretty sure I could fall asleep to heavy metal music I just I I think it's just the process of lying on the bed because my biggest association with the bed is sleeping of course, you know, as you become an adult, there's other associations maybe with the bed. Mind you, when I was a kid, there was other associations because I used to play. I used to play with my soldiers and play with my toys on the bed. I used to bounce up and down on the bed like it was a trampoline. But there is that... I guess it's almost like an inbuilt connection to lying down on your bed your body becomes relaxed naturally and your head touches the pillow and your mind starts to slow down it's just a natural process and your body if you give it an opportunity your body will do what it needs
needs to do. So if you're sitting in a chair and your body needs to relax, your body will relax. Providing you allow it to. And sometimes it even forces its cards, forces you to relax. So you maybe at times you might feel tired not necessarily tired to go to sleep, but just physically exhausted or just a bit like, oh, I need to sit down. Maybe your legs are aching or, and you sit down and your body has forced you to relax and to take a break. Because not everybody listens to their body and some people really like to be busy you know like all the time for whatever reason but the body doesn't it doesn't want that it doesn't want to be that the mind doesn't either actually we're supposed to take breaks we're supposed to, what's needed is actually the, not just for health reasons, but if you, I'm not a car owner myself, but an analogy of a car, a lot of people love their cars. And if you spoke to that person and said, you know, you'd ask them about how they treat their car. And you'd find out very quickly that they very much likely treat their car way better than they do their own body or their own mind. They wouldn't drive continuously for 16 hours expecting the car to be fine to do that again tomorrow and then the next day and then the next day without a break apart from a few hours to rest to sleep but a lot of people do do that with their bodies and their minds and I've been there I've done it worked long hours expecting myself to be in tip top condition to be able to physically and mentally be focused and be able to keep up the momentum for long long periods of time without rest and eventually the body has to take control the mind has to take control and say, oi, that's it. You need to take a break. And you know, the body will start to feel tired, uh, maybe cramped, maybe tight, maybe even physically in pain. So that you have to take a break, sit down, and allow the body to relax. And the mind does the same thing as well. It almost starts to shut down a bit, the mind, if you push it too far. It starts to, you could say almost malfunction. If you, if you try and stay awake for too long, anyone that's done this, they'll know that a brain doesn't work very well after a while. It starts to malfunction a little bit. Even if it's something as simple as just, like in the past, I've spent huge amounts of time working on a website over the years 
and I'll find the more tired I get, the more mistakes I make. Simple mistakes, things that I would normally never, never make those mistakes. Of course, there are times when maybe we have to push ourselves through that. But if you don't have to, if you really genuinely don't have to, then maybe it's worth listening to your body and your mind. Whether it's telling you that you need to take a break, to relax. Maybe it's telling you that it's time for some sleep. You may not need to go to sleep for eight hours solid. But you may need an hour or so. Which could be the difference between feeling okay and really not so one of the the potential benefits of listening to me regularly is a bit like the bed situation the association of lying down on a bed equals relaxing and your mind slowing down and just naturally drifting off to sleep can be connected to my voice and to these podcasts if you choose to allow yourself to open up open up that part of you that really cares that part of you that really 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 cares and aim it at yourself aim that caring at you at your well-being what is it that you need what is it that you need And the more you ask yourself that question, the more open you become to receiving an answer, which will only be positive and healthy. And then other questions may arise. One such question could be, do you deserve to feel relaxed? Do you deserve to feel relaxed I could have changed that to don't you deserve to feel relaxed 
Well, I could be even more to the point and factual and tell you that you do deserve to feel relaxed. And there is, in fact, no question to be answered. Because factually, factually, without question, you both deserve and need to feel relaxed when you need to feel relaxed. And of course, there's different levels of relaxation. You know, right now, you might be really feeling really calm, really calm, and it feels nice. You know, it's gentle. There's no pressure. And you can enjoy the feeling as that level of relaxation continues to increase throughout your body. that sense of relaxation is going to perhaps feel a little bit different to how you feel when you're maybe driving a car or in a supermarket or at a social gathering. You can feel relaxed during those events or situations or procedures but it's a different level of relaxation because you're actually doing something in those places those scenarios Unlike now, where you're just either sitting there or lying there, there is nothing to do. There's nothing that you have to feel, there's nothing you have to think about. It's nothing that you have to believe. It's almost as if all of that stuff is just melted away and therefore unimportant in this moment. And that in itself can actually be such a relief. <sighs> to no longer need to be anyone or anything there's nothing to believe there's nothing to cling to there's nothing to argue about there's nothing to hate there's nothing to care about in this moment and it's a positive thing Because you can just let every part of your life 
just drop away so that it's just you it's almost as if you're left with your essence the real core of your being no learned behavior no learned opinions or beliefs no judgments towards others or towards yourself no anger no jealousy letting go of everything absolutely everything because in this moment in this moment nothing either matters or exists just in this moment there's nothing to think about nothing to worry about it's gone and if anything does arise in your mind it just instantly melts away it's almost like the floor disappears and that thought disappears too to be in this safe place it just feels so nice perhaps you're experiencing a feeling that you haven't experienced before or for a long time where you really really are at peace with the world and the world can't touch you the world can't affect you one bit as you relax even deeper to the point where the word relax is no longer enough the word relax is no longer enough and maybe maybe there's no word to describe this peacefulness that you can experience having let go of everything and you know there's this oh, it's a feeling that feels so nice I talk you may 
his side to allow yourself the pleasure and the relief of just falling asleep. Allowing it to happen naturally. You may even be at the point where it's hard to know if you're awake or asleep. As your mind will naturally drift. Now. Nah. Truly drift. And there's no trying to control anything. Nothing to hold on to. And nothing to push away. Just enjoying the sensations of feeling, feeling the way you do. There's nothing to notice. Such calmness filling every part of your existence. Oh.